style and convenience best describe this fringe crossbody purse. It is just what is needed for a night out or for a quick shopping trip when a large handbag is really not needed. In this video, we will show how easy it is to make one from scratch, including a foolproof method of cutting fringe. Step one in making a fringed cross body purse is to cut the leather. I like to do that by making some templates first and to make them I like to use the bag stiffener. It, uh, it makes a very good quality template and they'll last for a long time. I have one here which we will use to cut a top strip that will be mostly decorative and we'll cut that from four to five ounce vegetable tan cowhide. We have here the uh, main body part and we'll cut two of those as well as two of the top strips. And then we have the one we will use to cut the fringe. Now this one is eight inches by 12 inches. Uh, we're going to need a total of 24 inches of, of fringe. This can be done in one piece, eight inches by 24 inches, two pieces, uh, eight inches by 12 inches, or you could have three pieces, eight inches by eight inches. And we'll need two of these little tabs to fasten the D's for the shoulder strap. Since I'll be tooling my top strips, I'm going to cut them from four to five ounce vegetable tan cowhide. And I'll place my template and trace around the outside with a scratch off. Next, I will use a straight edge and a sharp knife to cut out these pieces. Next, I will use the strap cutter to cut a half inch long strip long enough to make two of the tabs. And now I will use my template to mark the, the length of the tab and then I will use my all to also mark where I will punch the holes. Next I will use the round corner punch to punch the ends. And now with a 1 8 inch round drive punch I will punch the two holes. Now I will make a second one of these. The main body of the bag can be cut from uh, several different kinds of leather. Uh, it needs to be semi-soft or soft. Uh, in this case I'm using some blue chap leather. You could use upholstery leather. You could use heavy cowhide suede or other softer leathers. I'm going to turn this over and uh, then I will place my template, as you can see, and then with a roller ball pen, I can mark around the outside. For this, I prefer to use a roller knife, which is what I like to use for any soft leather. And I will, of course, use a straight edge whenever I can. I'll get right on my line. And with the roller knife, I can make my cut. I will do this all the way around, except for the corners.
For the corners, I will carefully cut with a good quality shears. And now we will cut another one of these. To cut the fringe, I'm going to use a piece of red pigskin softy suede. Uh, any soft leather will work. However, I like to use suede that looks good on both sides. I'm now going to use the 12 by 8 inch template. And with my roller knife, I will cut this out. Now, the first thing I'll do is draw around it with a roller ball pen. And then with the straight edge and my roller knife, I will carefully cut out this rectangle of the red suede. And of course, I will cut two of these. It is now time to cut fringe and I will do that with the roller knife. Notice I have placed my square along one edge of the piece that we're going to use for fringe. I have moved it in one quarter of an inch from this edge. And now with my roller knife I will cut up to within one half inch of the top. Now I will move the square down one quarter of an inch and I will cut another fringe up to one half inch from the top. Move down another quarter of an inch, do the same thing. And we will do this for the entire 12 inch length of this piece. I have decided to use a magnetic clasp on uh, my purse for a closer. And it will be located underneath the decorative strip. So I will uh, locate it in the middle of my uh, of my purse. And with a pen I will mark for the slots. And now I will use a thonging chisel and I will cut through as you can see now I am going through both the front and the back side at one time. This will make sure that I get a perfect match up for my closer. And now it's just a matter of pushing the legs through from, from the inside to the front. Turn it over. Put the washer on. And with a pliers, can bend the wings over and press them down. Now we will do the same thing to the other side of the clasp.